we're starting our new business ventures guys happy new year I feel like a fake bitch it's literally midway through January. i'm talking about some happy new year i'm so sorry i've been abusing y'all but i'm back now ah, ah. i'm a liar anyways let me update you guys on what's been going on i'll meet y'all in the other room yeah this makeup looking real basic Pants and turtleneck for me. What do I want to say? What do I want to say? Oh, yeah. Come look at my board, guys. Come look at my board. Come on. Okay. I need my water. I have this morning. This is my board. This is my goal board. It's not a vision board. It's not a vision board. This is ideas. I'm already going for them. I don't know. I just felt like I was sleeping on myself. This video is this. Is, a preparation for 2022 and we already in 2022 i would do that shit i'm a last minute motherfucker hang on cap <coughs> one thing about me i'm gonna do some last minute but i don't know i just feel like um my vibe these days is just real calm i'm trying to work on my attitude issues at times when shit don't when shit don't go my way i'm ready to hit the fan y'all so obsessed with my bag let me show it to you there's a fan back here. I'm not gonna turn it off. I don't want you to hurt. Do y'all see me? I don't know if you are, but y'all, my nephew popped this holder. Oh lord, I need to get my trap on. I pay money. I pay so much money. <gasps> oh my gosh, my credit card payment. Is it today? Oh lord. Yeah, my credit card payment's due today, so. Please. Like I need I need that college refund. I know college just some just started three days ago and I'm already talking about refund, but send the money. Send the money. <laughs> it's not COVID, you assholes. It's a cold. My, oh my gosh, my friend Marie, she was talking about something. It's common, it's common. I have not gotten COVID. Okay, thank God. Ever since the pandemic started and stuff like that. Me, COVID? I mean, granted, I do have a work at job, home job, but still, when I was out there, whew, every day I'd be risking my life. Mm mm mm. Y'all, these braids, literally, the roots are straight black. Am I gonna touch up on my roots? Mm, I'll probably do that in March. I need y'all. I need to tell y'all some shit. Ugh. But back to the bag. Ugh. I'm about to be sitting on these bitches. Oh no, Jesus. Not me becoming the DH girl. DHA girlies. Lord, that bitch. Bitch. 
Giving very much Louis Vuitton. It's giving, it's giving very much Louis Vuitton. China, <laughs> like. <laughs> I've never ordered anything from DHK. It's my first time. Shipping took forever. It's not even, I don't even know if this is real for real. Child, I'm not gonna word. These authentication papers, I don't even know how to tell if, how to make, how to, like, this, I don't know, but. This isn't really giving. Oh, this is how much the bag is. Bitch, ain't nobody gonna go pick a mug off an $8,000 bag for real. Like, guys. But now we're just going to the damage I'm going to jail. I think this feels illegal. Like, <laughs> let's just cut it off and take this off. I'm in break right now, so I can't. But when this came in, because it was in Florida for like three, four days, I'm like, why is it still not in my front door? Like, why is it not on? Come on. Okay, clearly there's some flaws to this bag. As soon as it came out, I saw the flag flaws, but I haven't seen the real one. No one on YouTube has it. Oh, my nails, my hands. I need some really skinny hands. Oh my gosh, no. Like, if someone were to stamp my bag, I would jump them and kick them in the face. Because, like, what do you do with that? Like, I don't, like, I don't know. Has anyone ever walked up to someone and said, I know your bag is a fake. I have the real one at home. This is fake. Like, well, I never heard nobody. So, this ain't hurt nobody. This is hurting no one. Uh oh. Okay, don't look at the mess, y'all. Don't look at the mess. Look at the bag. Look at the bag. Okay, this is what the bag looks like. I had to put a flash on. I had to show y'all. Look at this. Oh, gorgeous. So, inside, this is what it's looking like inside. If you look at the clasp, I love, like, whenever I see, like, um, PH gate hauls, I love when they get up close. So, uh, for the girlies, I like to have it up close and they give it to y'all. These are the authentication videos. My sister said it smelled like plastic. Can you believe it? Mm. I was debating on getting this one. Well, since it's a Louis B. <laughs> I was debating on getting like the MM or the GM. I got the MM. Cause it's like, I'm not really a purse type of gal. Yeah, I'm really not. I'm really not. Basically, y'all, if y'all and y'all want more THK hauls, I will do it. I will do it. Because I will definitely be spending my money this year. And this is a good quality bag. This is a good little fart. Because, girl, let me tell you, the emblems inside feel nice. 12.9 iPad. iPad put, gets put into bag. That gets picked up. No drop. The bag does not drop. I know that's right. Before y'all talk, you make me think it can't stand up. It can't stand up. It's just that there's stuff in it. It stands up by itself. With the iPad, it's a different story, of course. Because 
Okay, but if you're gonna use black, what else do you have? Can it fit this 13 point Spectre laptop? Let's see. Yep, and it fits the Spectre as well. I put both the Spectre and that in here. No drop. Straight down. Who you, what fake you know you this? I'll wait. I'll wait. Ooh. 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 Too hot to handle. Ooh. Don't talk to me. Ooh. Mm. <coughs> <clears throat> let's talk so what have you missed i'm 20 now so i'm 20 i can't date you i'm 20 you're 20 20 yeah still can't believe it i'm 20 now um i'm looking you know to start something new i kind of not gonna lie to you i kind of gave up hope ish i kind of gave up hope ish and before y'all say oh you know well i'm not even, i'm gonna stop doing that because y'all say shit matter of fact <laughs> so i'm gonna be i'm gonna be trying new things i can't be afraid of people you know like these are just some things that this year i'm gonna be worried about oh might as well get comfortable. I just feel actually let me just show just like a montage. Just a montage of um just like a montage of me possibly just you know just videos of me on my phone. I'm just gonna put this in the background of me talking so that it maybe this isn't too interesting to you guys. I'm cutting it on just really not not much going on at the moment. But yeah. Um Basically, I'm just gonna be sharing some things I'm gonna be working on. Like, I'm gonna be working on some new things. I definitely wanna branch out and try new things. Like, I feel like, I feel like more towards, I feel like I started to give up on myself a little bit. You know, I say like, I want like this calm stuff in and stuff like that, but I think that's just like an excuse for me to lower my standards you know me saying the word calm and stuff like that i don't know i feel like it's either me lowering my standards or you know don't expect much so you won't be disappointed type of thing so yeah but that's just what i want in itself of this year and i definitely do want to try different things i definitely felt like i was sleeping on myself for a very very long time there's just some things that i wanted oh whew. that scared me child that's what i was saying um i definitely feel like there's just some things that i want to do and sometimes it's like oh my gosh how do i do this like for example i'm trying to get a new job and i'm trying to get a new job and i'm trying to like start something I'm trying to start, you know, I feel like a lot of things, I feel like social media and stuff like that really did ruin our reality. And I didn't realize, this is the first time I'm saying this out loud. I've been saying this in my head for such a long time, but I've never actually said it out loud. Social media has really warped and ruined our reality because you're like comparison really is the thief of joy. And I didn't know that it was holding me back. It was holding me back this much. I didn't know that it was holding me back this much and just the way that I was thinking and stuff. Like I was being mean to myself because of what I because of what I saw in front of me on the screen all the time. And it's just not healthy. You can't expect some like something else. You can't expect things that other you can't expect the same that's going on in other people's lives for you basically like everyone's path is different and i just wish that you know you know we weren't really i i wasn't really comparing myself that much i definitely felt like so much more could have been done and stuff like that if i just wasn't you know sitting here comparing myself to other people because i don't deserve that i'm literally not even giving myself a fair chance and stuff and sometimes, sometimes I don't know. Sometimes I feel like, like, is it capitalism making me want to go hard like this? Making me want to get this money by tomorrow. 
Um, basically, I'm sorry, I need a good joke, but yeah. I just feel like I could definitely gotta move at my own pace, gotta find my own rhythm. Basically, back to the whole business, business ventures thing. I keep jumping around, but at this point. So yeah, I just feel like a lot of things that pop up like on our For You pages, on our Explore pages and stuff, like we're just seeing, um, oh, how to get a job in this, so vending machine, this and stuff like that. It's like the algorithm knows what it's doing and it's like, okay, yeah, it's reaching out to like, I don't know how to break this down. So if whenever like you're seeing like these opportunities and stuff like that, it's like, it's being this amount of people has viewed it. This amount of people has commented on it. This amount of people have done the research to put in, you know, the work and this amount of people actually go through with it. If you kind of get what I'm saying. Like, even if we see, like, the views and, like, the stuff like that and, like, basically, like, the collective group, not that many actually go for it. And I think that was what was holding me back. What was holding me back is thinking to myself, like, wow, there's so many people and stuff like that. There's so many people that are already doing this shit. So, like, why should I? You know, why am I going to come into the come into the environment and just saturate it some more? But then it just got me thinking when I was looking for, you know, girls that look like me doing the stuff that I want to do. I didn't see it. I didn't see it at all. I didn't see it at all. Or if I did see it, it wasn't a good representation. Um, Just, yeah. Or like, you know. And I just realized, like, damn, like, there really is, like, so many people in this world it's really it's really you're doing an injustice to yourself by thinking i shouldn't even try or go for it at all you're really you're really shooting yourself in the foot like you're stopping yourself before you even got the chance to do anything and so that's what i was doing to myself basically so now like you know Now I'm basically, basically I'm still lost. I'm 20 years old and I'm still lost. I have a job at the moment. I'm still looking for another one. I'm starting my weight loss journey back up again. Yeah, so, and I don't know. I feel like I've really been killing it these, these past few days. I think I've resulted into, I've come up with the idea this is basically like a life update at this point. Um, I basically came up with the idea, like, I'm just gonna work out twice a day. And let's just see where that goes, you know? And I didn't really realize, but like, damn, it's like this, this weight loss shit, weight loss shit. Mm -hmm. So you basically don't compare yourself to others. Commitment. And just live your life, you know? I was kind of stuck between the phase, like I don't want to work and which is, I don't know. I'm still very young. And I just have like a lot to learn. And my birthday was really good. It really was. That birthday was the first birthday. My last birthday was the first birthday that I've enjoyed in a long, long time. I remember having, I didn't enjoy my 19th one. I don't even remember what I did for my 19th birthday. My 18th birthday, mm, 17th birthday. Yeah, my 17th birthday was pretty good. And let's see what this year has for us, guys.